Hi everybody, I'm Bob Halloran and today on GolfDestination.tv we visit Sterling National Country Club in Sterling, Massachusetts. Long recognized as one of the top courses in central Massachusetts, Sterling was recently purchased by the Jan Company, owners of three other courses. We'll visit this Central Mass gem, plus we'll talk to Nathan Robbins of the New England section of the PGA about their New England Series golf tournaments that you can play. All of that and more next. Welcome to GolfDestination.tv, I'm Bob Halloran. Today we're at Sterling National Country Club and this fantastic course was recently purchased by the Jan Companies, owners of three other courses, Quidneset Country Club, Norton Country Club, and Grassy Hill Country Club. And their experience with golf courses now has this one on solid footing and they are accepting memberships for the 2011 golf season. Sterling National Country Club can be a lot of different things for different people. Obviously, the golf is the main attraction. This private course is often recognized as one of the best in Massachusetts. Several holes offer different tee boxes, so some holes may play as a dog leg left one day and a dog leg right another day. When people join a private club, they want a golf course that they can look forward to playing every day. Sterling National offers that opportunity. The course also has three practice putting greens and a fantastic range to help improve your game. Sterling National is much more than golf. Their Olympic size pool and kiddie pool is a great place during the summer for families. The pool area also features a snack area with great sandwiches and snacks. The clubhouse is the cornerstone for all of the activities that occur on the property. And there are plenty of those. Sterling National boasts an active social calendar both on the golf course and inside at the Members Grill. The Members Grill has three flat screen televisions and comfortable seating throughout. Looking for something quieter? The Members Dining Room overlooks the 18th hole and enables you to have a more intimate dining experience. Sterling National Country Club has a great reputation for hosting business meetings, golf outings, and weddings. The clubhouse can host weddings, groups, or holiday parties of up to 225 guests. Everything is available to make your next event special, including first-class food and beverage from the very kitchen that serves the membership, audio-visual needs, and guidance on what may be best for your special day. Business meetings always tend to go smoother when the lure of golf is immediately following. Sterling National Country Club has also never been so affordable. Sign up for 2011 and the initiation fee will be waived. There are a variety of different membership categories including full, intermediate, sport, social, junior, and non-resident. A Sterling Country Club member said it best when he said, live the life you love at Sterling National Country Club. And now let's take a look at the front nine of Sterling National Country Club. The par five first hole is a nice opening hole that allows you to wind up. Long hitters can choose to go for it in two because it's reachable. The green is deep and narrow and has only one bunker protecting it. The second hole is the number one stroke hole on the course and makes you stand up and take notice. This dog leg par four requires a good drive off the tee and a mid to long iron shot to a protected green. If you were to list one of the better par fours in the state, this hole would be on it. The third hole is a short par four that only requires you to hit it 200 yards off the tee. The challenge is the green. Be on the correct level and you'll be putting for birdie. If not, a bogey could be in your future. The fourth hole is a medium length par four dog leg left that requires placement over distance. If you find the fairway, birdie is a distinct possibility. Bunkers protect both sides of the green. The par three fifth hole can be played anywhere from 150 to 190 yards. 
Bunkers protect the left and right side of the green, and a hazard protects the front. Another solid par four awaits you at the sixth. You tee off in Sterling, but you land in the town of Lancaster. This slight dogleg left can measure out to 410 yards. The green is deep with two levels. The par three seventh hole has two ways to play it with two different tee boxes. The lower tee complex has you carry it over wetlands, while the other tee box has you over all land, but a narrower green. Both tee shots measure about 160 yards. The par five eighth hole requires a good drive off the tee. If you fade it just right, maybe you can reach it in two, but just get it in the fairway. From 120 yards in, bunkers protect the fairway and green. The green is also elevated and the smallest on the course. The downhill par 4 ninth wraps up the front side. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left and you could be in great shape for a birdie. And we're just making the turn here at Sterling National Country Club and the back nine sports some great holes. When we come back, we visit with Logan DeCarolis in the Pro Shop and we'll take a look at the back nine at Sterling National Country Club. Sterling National Country Club is now accepting membership applications for 2011. Enjoy a championship golf course with fantastic amenities, including an Olympic pool, great golf practice facilities, active social calendar, and a very comfortable member grill. If you'd like to learn more, visit Sterling National Country Club at sterlingcc.com or call them at 978-422-0275. Welcome back to GolfDestination.tv. Recently, we spoke with Logan DeCarolis about Sterling National Country Club. Sterling National is the premier private course in central Massachusetts. Um, due to the course conditions, it's always in pristine shape. It's a one-of-a-kind layout. You won't find anything like this in central Mass. And also, you know, you walk through the clubhouse, through the pro shop, and all the members and staff here are extremely friendly and they'll welcome you every time you come into the parking lot. Sterling National is a fun course for all types of handicaps. It's challenging for the low handicaps, and it's also a fun course for high handicappers who want to go out and have an enjoyable afternoon. The greens are fairly big. They always run pretty quick. They're very good for a private club. Um, always very fast, very firm, a lot of fun to play. Um, but they are big, they're rolling, which makes for a lot of different pin placements and you can really change the holes up. A lot of the members here say that they love this course so much because it plays different every time. But the elevation changes make for some great scenic views here at Sterling National, especially the number 16th par 3 puts you way up on a hill. You get a little breeze out there and it plays into effect in the course. Oh, nice. Very nice scenically. My favorite hole in the front would have to be the par 3, number 5. Plays about 190 from the back tees. It's an elevated tee. You hit over a little pond in a wetland area. Big rolling green, bunkered on both sides. Very nice hole visually, a lot of fun to play. It's also a challenging hole. It's definitely my favorite hole on the front side. Favorite hole on the back side would have to be number 12. It's notably a good driving hole. Um, you start out, once again, elevated tee into a wide fairway. There is one fairway bunker on the left, so it's a challenging tee shot. And also, you hit into a green that's protected by a small pond with a waterfall on the left. Once again, very nice hole visually, very nice hole to play. But the Pro Shop's a really good size. We typically keep it separated in two areas, ladies' area and men's area, so it makes it easy for shopping. We can get our members and our guests custom fit for golf clubs, make sure they're playing the right equipment for their game. We get a pretty full tournament schedule each year. We run club championships, member guests, we do outside events. We like to promote a good energy level, have a lot of fun here at Sterling National. And the events usually, they're, they're very good. They're a lot of fun. The golf course is the reason why the members come here. Um, it's, it seems like every member and guest walks through the door is just absolutely addicted to the golf course. And it's because it's one of a kind. It's majestic, it's beautiful. You gotta play it to understand. You can really get hooked on it. 
Now let's take a look at the back nine at Sterling National Country Club. The tenth hole gives long hitters a choice off the tee. Take it over the trees in the hopes of getting on in two, or play it like the rest of us as a three-shot par five. Your third approach shot is to an uphill green that is wide but shallow. The eleventh is another solid par three that has multiple tee boxes. Bunkers protect the left side of the green on this hole that can measure out to over 200 yards from the tips. The par 4 12th is a picture perfect hole that offers the variety of two tee boxes, a slight dog leg right from the elevated primary tee or as a dog leg left from the alternate lower tee. Water protects the left side of the green with bunkers framing the back of a generous putting surface. The par 3 13th is the most demanding par 3 on the course. A large bunker protects the front while three deep bunkers collect shots that are long. The green offers a variety of challenging pin placements. The 14th is a 400 yard dog leg left par four. Don't be too left or you'll end up in a hazard. The green has two tiers and is protected by a lone bunker on the right. The par four 15th is the longest par four on the course, but it does play slightly downhill. The putting surface is one of the trickiest to read. Par is a good score here. You stand on the par 3 16th, some 60 feet above the putting surface, so proper club selection is key. A lone pine protects the green alongside three other greenside bunkers. The hole measures 186 yards from the back tees. Know your yardage off the tee on the par 4 17th. Carry the hazard off the tee and you'll have an uphill approach that will easily carry an additional hazard. The green is the largest on the course. The 18th is a dramatic par 5 finishing hole. It'll take three good shots on this slight dog leg right. A fairway bunker awaits down the right hand side for those errant shots of long hitters trying to reach it in two. The green is deep and undulating. Sterling National Country Club offers variety and shot making and it's a course you can play every day and never get bored with it. It's truly one of the best in central Massachusetts. Up next, we meet some of the members who call Sterling National Country Club their home club. Plus, we'll get the vital statistics when we return. And later, we learn about the New England PGA's New England series of golf tournaments that you can play. They're at some of New England's most prestigious clubs. All of that and more when we return. Welcome back to GolfDestination.tv. I'm Bob Halloran. We've shown you the layout here at Sterling National Country Club. Now hear what some of the members think. Well, I think it's a great course. Um, it's challenging. There's uh, holes where you have to have carry, and there's a variety of holes. Plus, it's a great walking course. Uh, I love it. Uh, you know, I'm able to walk out here uh, almost every round. I'd have to say my favorite hole is 16, the uh, downhill par 3. I do par it, and uh, I have birdied it, and I've also bogeyed it. So it's, a, it's still a challenge, but uh, it's lined with traps, so you have to have a good shot to it. I like Sterling National because it is a different course a lot of times through the season. It starts so a whole lot of the rough and the uh, uh, carries are kind of short, but as the time goes through the season, they grow and they get bigger and it just changes the whole look of the course. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous course every season. The camaraderie here is wonderful. Um, we have a great group of people. The grill room is wonderful. Food's been great. Um, it's wonderful coming up the 18th hole and you can see that there it is and we can go in and have a nice sandwich and a beer and, and uh, just sit and kind of run over the round that we played and say that we should have done better on a few holes, but you know, that's, uh, it's a great place to be. I've been here for four years now. Uh, the people are friendly. Um, you can always get a game. I bring my daughter and my, my kids down, and we, we enjoy the course. And, and not to mention the pool, it's a very good swimming pool. So my grandsons enjoy it, and I'm down here a lot with the kids. For the women golfers, it plays very playable as far as um, the holes are very realistic as far as par, the distance on the holes, the ladies' tee boxes. They're in a proper position. They're not 
just kind of off behind a tree to the side out of the way. The women are very um, highly regarded here as members. We love the practice facility, which is up here. It's state of the art. It's um, always available. Our putting greens are there, uh, but the golf course is wonderful and um, we find our restaurants and our function halls to be a total package that makes Sterling a great place to be at. Sterling National is, uh, is a, basically a, a resort. Um, it's as close to a resort uh, that you can, as you can get in this area. You've got, you've got a beautiful swimming pool, you've got functions, uh, a golf course, and it's uh, coming here, sometimes I feel like I'm going on vacation with my family. Here are the vital statistics from Sterling National Country Club. There are five sets of tee boxes. The silver tees measure out to 6,667 yards and offer a course rating of 71.8 with a 136 slope. The blue member tees measure 6,323 yards with a course rating of 69.7 and a 130 slope. The forward markers can be played at 4,951 yards with a course rating of 69 and a 119 slope. Outings are hosted on both Mondays and Tuesdays, and for more information about membership opportunities, visit them online at sterlingcc.com or call them at 978-422-0275. Thanks for joining us on GolfDestination.tv from Sterling National Country Club. It's been a great walk through the woods at this shot-making golf course that offers variety and fantastic value for your golfing dollar. To get the most up-to-date schedule of all airings, log on to GolfDestination.tv. Thanks again for joining us. I'll see you next time. I'm Bob Halloran.